Suplifters, today we're going to talk about why genetics don't matter, why you shouldn't worry about your potential, why you shouldn't worry about your natural limit, and in general, why those things do not matter. First of all, ask yourself this question. Let's think about another sport, okay? Let's think about basketball, okay? Have you ever uh, saw a kid go play basketball that said something like, I'm gonna play basketball only if I will become as good as Michael Jordan. I will only go, I don't know, I will only start training MMA if I can be as good as Khabib. I will only start playing soccer if I get as good as Messi or Ronaldo. I personally have never heard a kid saying that. Why? Because they do enjoy the, their activity. At the same time, if you go to the gym just to look like someone else, why are you doing it? There is no point. Find an activity that you enjoy because, again, I like lifting weights, maybe you don't, maybe you like playing badminton. And everything that makes you move, makes you move your body is going to be the best activity that you can do, okay? Because, why? Because that is going to be sustainable, because you actually enjoy doing that movement and doing that thing. It doesn't make any sense to keep forcing yourself on doing something that you dislike. So this is the first thing that you should ask yourself. Are you going to the gym because you enjoy it and you like it? Or are you going to the gym because you want to look like uh, insert random Instagram influencer? Also, uh, number one, we have to realize that our bodies are different. There are no two people which look exactly the same. So even if you want to look like that person, you are not going to look like the person. Even worse, if you think that you want to look for example, I'm just going to say it from the top of my head. If I want to have Lex Little squats, I want to have James English chest, I want to have, I don't know, I don't know, how maybe Alpha Destiny's um, traps, I want to have Natural Hypertrophy's uh, biceps. How am I supposed to do this? I basically just handpicked all the best qualities from four guys which trained and may, may or may not be natural or not. I just... I just pick from the top of my head, but that is not the point, because I'm comparing myself to this kind of mutant creature which is just created in my head that doesn't even exist. Furthermore, we can also realize that people, and in general influencers, when they take pictures, they take the best pictures that they can. So not even them look like that good in real life. So there is really no point to go to the gym just to look like somebody else. Do it because you like it, do it because you want to be healthier, but the first thing that you should actually think about is do it only if you like it. Do not go to the gym because you want to do something else. And that is why, in general, it doesn't really make sense about thinking about genetics. Why? Because, as I said, we can pick people like natural hypertrophy. He started as a string bean and now he's a behemoth. He became huge. And if you saw him at the beginning, you will say that he has bad genetics. Why? Because he has pretty... Uh, um, short clavicles, so that means that his shoulders won't be very large. By, I'm just talking about general beauty standards, right? He, he said he has wide hips, so that gives him a kind of a square body, right? Because he has narrow shoulders and large hips. While in theory, we want to have the V taper, right? So wide shoulders and a thin waist. However, I'd argue that he looks amazingly. He trained a lot. He I Basically, he built a body in order to play off of his strength and reduce his weaknesses. So if I would have been, if I would have trained just like him, I would look totally different. Why? Because I have different attributes. I do have large, um, large shoulders. My clavicles are pretty wide. I also have a pretty thin waist. Right now I'm, I mean, I'm not lean. However, I, if, I, if I actually push the fat off of my waist, I do have a nice V taper. But maybe, you know, I have extremely thin wrists, so perhaps I will never have good forearms. So again, play to your advantages. I have small arms, like my bicep has no peak. It's, not, not, it's non-existent. I'm not going to have a good bicep. So what am I going to do? I'm going to kill myself and I'm going to inject synthol. No, I'm going to accept it because I'm still working on them. Again, I don't like play training them, but that is a whole other point. So there is really no point to talk about genetics. And why does it not matter? Because we keep progressing. And while I agree that the rate of improvement keeps getting slower and slower, we do still improve. And it makes no sense to simply say, yeah, but uh, staying natural, you know, it doesn't make sense. 
because you're gonna hit your genetic limit. What are we even talking about? Go look, look at, go look at all the naturals which have been training from years and years, and they still make games. They still get better. Also, do not, I mean, do not think that just because right now we're going to the gym to drive hypertrophy, we won't find something that we enjoy more. Uh, one of the best examples for me is Alpha Destiny. He started just doing the powerlifting stuff, and now he does a lot of calisthenics because he really, he's really enjoying that. So, okay, perhaps his physique won't really improve that much on a bodybuilding perspective. However, he now likes more calisthenics, so he's gonna learn more and more skills. He's gonna learn the front lever, he's gonna learn the iron cross, I have no idea. Uh, again, look at Ankiri Elite Fitness. He started um, powerlifting, he had a lot of nice uh, numbers, but now he's... I mean, powerlifting, it's not his focus. I know that recently he's been sprinting a lot. He wants to be faster. However, what all of this stuff has in common is that all these people have trained for years and never stopped. Why? Because they always found something that they liked training. Maybe I will like Olympic weightlifting, that right now is something that I'm really, really enjoying and I'm really looking into. Of course, I'm not going to say that I'm going to do that. Number one, I, I don't have the mobility yet. Number two, I've been training for like six months bodybuilding seriously, so there is no point for me switching. Maybe natural hypertrophy, one day will find something else that he enjoys, of course, still physical. Who knows? However, as long as you can keep training and you love what you do, there is no point. Because why do you care where are you gonna um, arrive? Why do you care how, when you reach your destination, when you are enjoying what you do? Because if you only care about reaching that place, it means that the, I mean, I know it sounds extremely corny because it's the classic sentence which says Oh, but it's not about the goal, it's about the journey But it's extremely true because I'm enjoying every single day And the cool part about um, general bodybuilding, in my opinion Is that what am I really facing is a huge mountain And every day I go slightly, slightly closer to the top However, I also do realize that I might never see the top I might never have my huge quad that I dream of. But really, do I care? No. Why? Because I love squatting. I love coming to the gym. I like deadlifting. I like doing everything that I'm doing. And that is why I also spend a lot of time and why I opened the YouTube channel, because I really want to talk about this stuff. As I said in the pilot episode of my Train Every Day series, I don't really have a lot of friends who lift weight. And that is why I want to talk about this stuff to somebody else. Uh, the thing is that, you know, that somebody else is people on the internet and people who are watching this video. And I'm really passionate about it and I really want people to stay on the natural path and keep on training and also realize whether you like or not going to the gym because again, there is no point in doing something that you do not like. I'm gonna check if I wrote something else but I believe that I talk about pretty much everything. Yeah, your genetic potential do not matter and yeah that is pretty much it so see you guys next time